Hi, I'm Adam Seltzer, author of The Smart Alex Guide to American History, a new book coming from Random House in December 2009. You know, a lot of students and teachers write to the Smart Alex staff and say, hey, do you guys have any activities that will help make history come alive? As a matter of fact, we do. Hey, want to help your students understand what World War I was like? Get yourself a shovel, dig a trench in the playground, and start lobbing mustard gas and grenades at each other. They probably won't enjoy it, but we bet you will. I thought history was boring until one of my teachers gave me the Spanish flu. History really came alive. My teacher sent me to walk in a cone like, no school! If you really want to make history come alive, look no further than old-timey dentistry. Go out to your parents' garage and get an automotive tool set. Pick up a wrench and start pulling like there's no tamari. How many rocks would your students have to pile on top of you to get you to confess to witchcraft? When they did it to Giles Corey in Salem, all he could say was, more weight please. Now that guy had stones. Ooh. Too soon? If you have students with drug problems who don't quite understand history, just take them to a Civil War reenactment when they're high. History will come alive and they will never do drugs again. When President Garfield was shot, doctors kept poking him in the liver when they tried to get the bullet out. Would it hurt to be poked in the liver? Help your students find out. You'll need a volunteer, an anatomy book, and a good pair of scissors. And while you have that anatomy book out, why not show your students what Civil War surgery was like? All you need is a regular saw from your local hardware store. Kids love this because they get whiskey for the pain. <laughs> Here's a great way to show your students what Revolutionary War soldiers had to endure during Valley Forge. Next winter, open the windows to your classroom, turn the heat off, lock the doors to the bathrooms, and it'll probably work best if the cafeteria is serving three bean casserole or perhaps tacos. Of course, they didn't have three bean casserole or tacos at Valley Forge. The soldiers there lived on stuff called fire cake. You can make your own by mixing flour and water into a rough paste and baking it until it's hard enough to break whatever teeth you got left. We didn't, but you can. And if that doesn't work, you can always fall back on the old routine of just making them look up everything and We Didn't Start the Fire by Billy Joel, or have them read The Smart Alex Guide to American History by Adam Seltzer, coming in December 2009 from Random House. Remember, kids, if you really want to make history come alive, every room needs a bucket to spit in. Every room. Spittoon!